Okay, we're looking at uh, smart switches. Uh, 2007 Thomas Bus. Uh, these two are old school. They're they're hardwired. I think we added a horn, but uh, there's other ways of doing that. But this was the old school way, and uh, you can actually change one smart switch with another, and you don't have to just plug in. And the uh, modules will recognize the resistance and know what circuit it runs. And that's uh, multiplexing. That it, uh, it's like an information highway. It uh, sends signals, and uh, it's pretty efficient. And you do need uh, a schematic and a laptop with the uh, access for Airliner, and you can get into a program called Service Link and actually look at the modules inside and test the circuits, turn them on and off. And it's not bad once you warm up to it and do it a few times. You can see the, the value of it, especially for troubleshooting. And here's a hard copy schematic, and that's a switch hub module. That's where all those smart switches were hooked into. And we've had some uh, problems with uh, the multiplexing, but it's usually wiring or proto connections. And here's a smart switch here. See the resistors? That's the ID light switch and the ID marker switch. And you could swap these two, and that's all you have to do. If you want to put in a different spot for access or something. But multiplexing definitely is the way of the future. It, it really um, works well. And I think it's a great idea, great technology.